Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Financial Talk Friday, where we are here every Friday at 2 p.m. And it's a new year, y'all. I haven't seen you since December 18th because it took off for the holidays, but I am so glad to be back here in this place with you every Friday at 2 p.m. So yay, happy new year, everyone. Happy new year. So I hope you all's new year has started off with a bang. I know there's been some hiccups. There's some crazy stuff going on in the media, but hey, we still, this is only day eight that we can kick this thing off and make it good. All right. So I'm just going to get into this because I'm not going to hold you for long today. But before we get started, I want to make sure I tell you, please, please, please hit that share button. Um, because what do we like to do? Share the knowledge, share the wealth. All right. We want to share it. We don't want to be stingy. And if you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom of the screen. And so today. I'm so excited to be talking to y'all today. I just love this. If you're out there, holler at your girl, say hi. All right. My topic today is one thing. That's something that's been ringing in my head, a message that's been ringed, um, flashing to me loud and clear for months now. And it happened again. And I'm like, I think I get the message, but maybe I'm supposed to share the message. So today I'm going to talk about that one thing, one thing. All right. So many of us out there, including myself, we are multi-talented. We have lots of gifts and we have a lot of creativity and we have a lot of um, things that we know how to do. We have a lot of passions and we're not quite sure which way to go. What am I supposed to be doing with all of this stuff that I know and all of this stuff that I'm able to do? And it's really boils down to finding that one thing, that one thing that you're supposed to lead with, that one thing that is your purpose, right? Because we have a purpose and we have to know, and I've said it before, like a broken record, we have to know that everything that we're going through in life is to prepare us for our purpose. And if you're already walking in your purpose, the things that you're, that you're learning are to help you take you to the next level in your purpose, because you don't just reach your purpose and stay there. We're supposed to keep going from level to level to level, even in our purpose, not just our being. All right. But if we're going level to level in our being, then we should be going level to level in our purpose. However, it's that one thing. What did God put you here on earth to do? What is your assignment here on earth? Because you have other talents and other gifts that have prepared you for this one thing. And you're supposed to lead with that one thing. And that doesn't mean that you don't get to do the other things. But that one thing is what you're supposed to do. And that one thing when it comes to um, making money off of it is what you need to focus on. All right. So what we get confused about is that we have all of these things and we don't really know what to focus on. But we have to focus on the one thing that we're supposed to be doing. And if it's starting a business, focus on that one business. Right. Um, if it's a career profession, focus on that one career profession. That's where you're supposed to be. When you try to do more than one thing um, and you're trying to master more than one thing at the time, you never really become a master of anything. You become a jack of all trades and a master at none. And so we've got to learn to focus on that one thing that we're supposed to be doing um, in order to make a living. Um, and, and master that thing. I heard my mentor say in a training that I was in that, you know, you have lots of things you do, but you have to focus on the one because it's like a person who's chasing two rabbits. You, they'll all get away. You can't chase more than two things at a time, three things at a time, four things at a time. It's like when you're kids and you're playing tag, right? You, you can't chase all the kids because when you're chasing all the kids and you're moving around like this, you're not getting anyone. So you got to focus on one kid, chase that kid so you can catch that kid, right? You got to be that same way in your career and with your talents. 
You got to chase that one thing, become a master at that one thing and make that one thing work and make that money. And until that thing is working, until you've made that money and you're successful in that one thing, then you shouldn't be moving on to another thing. Um, that goes to multiple streams of income. People say, well, what about multiple streams of income? You're supposed to have multiple streams of income. And, you, and there's nothing wrong with that, but people are pushing multiple strings of income usually when they're trying to get you to join some kind of network marketing, um, when they're trying to get you to come over to their vision and do their stuff. And now they're trying to take you away from what you're doing. And you have to be able to focus on what you're supposed to do, make that one thing successful before you go start another thing. You can have multiple streams of income, but when you're chasing and, and doing more than one thing at the same time, three, four, five things, then you're passed around. It's hard to integrate. It's hard to balance. It's hard to concentrate. It's hard to get one thing done and get that going. That's why you got to focus on the one thing. Get that one thing going. Get that one thing successful. Get that one thing making six figures, you know, and, and then get get that business to where it's, it's sustaining itself. It's you've got that income coming in. Then you go and start another stream of income. And so not, oh, I like this network marketing idea and I like this network marketing idea and I like this business venture and I like this idea. Focus on one thing, make that one thing work, make that one thing make you some money, make that one thing sustainable, then you go and start on another stream of income. So I'll give you for an example, one of my favorites is um, P. Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs, whatever he calls himself these days, but I love me some Diddy. Anybody who knows me knows I love me some Diddy. He is like one of the people that I admire when it comes to business and his just being so relentless in the way he is. Now, Sean or P Diddy or, or Diddy wanted to do his, have his own record label. And he recognized that that was his passion. That's what he wanted. That's what he went for. He focused on that one thing. He sold out to the music industry, okay? And he worked himself to the bone until he made um, his own record label and it was very successful. A lot of hit records, a lot of artists coming through there. That was his one thing. Now, now that that's established, now that he reached that goal, then what did he do? Then he wouldn't start a Sean John the clothing line. He made that successful. He made that sustainable. Then he went and did cologne and added that to the repertoire. He made that successful. Then he went and did Syrah. He didn't do all of these things consecutively. He didn't do all of these things at the same time. But look at him. He has multiple streams of income. But you got to learn how to do one at a time and focus on one thing at a time and not get distracted by the, the carrots dangling in your face. That next big thing that's going to make you a millionaire or that next big thing that's going to make you wealthy. You have to be able to focus in on the one thing that is going to be six, that, that's supposed to be your thing, right? That money maker, that your purpose or um, the one thing that you're really passionate about because we have multiple passions, but let's admit it. There's always a passion or something that's leading the path. I'll use myself for an example. You know, I had a passion for, you know, helping people emotionally heal. Also have a passion for financial literacy. My, my, but I love, like absolutely love to do emotional healing. If someone wants to come talk to me and they need an encouraging word, they need something inspiring to keep them going, you know, I'm there, right? It's to get on a phone call with somebody and really feel like I can make an impact on their life or I can make an impact on their day or I can help change their mind or help change their views or, you know, see themselves as the great person that they are. I am on it. But there's some days when it comes to financial literacy, if I had to get on a phone call, some days I'm like, okay, let's do this. And some days I don't feel like it. But let somebody call me about, and I need to inspire them. I'm spot on, okay? So I have more than one passion, but one just supersedes the other. And so I had to learn to concentrate on my one thing. My one thing, my passion, my, my real true passion, my reason for 
being here, the reason for going through the things that I've gone through, um, the reason for me starting becoming a being, I had to follow that, right? Because that's my one thing. Now, that doesn't mean I still can't help somebody with financial literacy. It doesn't mean I can't help anybody um, with other things that I know how to do. But I'm, But my main focus is helping people heal. That's what I'm here for. All right. So you got to get focused on your one thing. It's it, And if you have multiple talents, you, you might have to explore some stuff. And that's OK. It's OK. Don't make anyone make you feel bad because you decided to take a little time and, and do a little bit more discovery of who you are and where you, and where you want to go. And you have to do that sometimes in order to really realize what is your one thing. All right. But. Let's not get caught up in the distractions. We got to know the difference between an attraction and a distraction. An attraction is something that you're supposed to be attracted to. That's something you're supposed to be doing. A distraction is just taking you away from it. So you'll have to know, you have to know what your one thing is so you can stay laser focused on that thing, laser focused on that goal, because people are going to come along. They're going to see something in you. Trust me, they're going to see something in you and they're going to want to bring you over to help them. They're going to see your talents and think, wow, I can use her or I can use him and then try to bring you over to help them with their vision. And next thing you know, you're over there helping them with their vision and you don't forgot about your vision because why? You wasn't laser focused on your one thing, your goal. So you got to get laser focused on that thing that you're supposed to be working on. And that is how you spend your time in your day. And if whatever else is going on is not helping you with your one thing and it's not helping you move forward and it's not helping you progress, then you have to be able to say, no, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Every opportunity is not a good opportunity. Every money opportunity is not the best opportunity. So you have to know the difference between an, an attraction and a distraction. All right. So I hope you've gotten something out of this. I said I wasn't going to hold you long. I do feels so good. I do. Can I just take a moment, you all? I just want to soak it in. I kind of missed this on Fridays with you all. And so I thank you so much for joining me. And always, always, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching this on Facebook, go ahead and like and share this video. All right. I'll be here next Friday. Same time. Be unbothered. All right. Talk to you later. Oh, I can't get this turned off, y'all. <laughs> That's crazy. Talk to you later.